Guys, you have no idea how excited I was when I saw the Instagram photos about the giraffe encounter that you can step on a car and then the giraffe was taking photos with you. So, I did some research. Um, apparently, you can't just walk in like that. You have to contact them on the Facebook page and you have to pay before you even go. So, you have got to make a payment, make your booking. Okay, so this is like a safari park uh, where the humans will be in the truck and they'll be um, driving you around the animals so you're the animals because the animals will be looking at you from outside in the wild while you're in the cage a little cage on a truck so it's quite cool because i uh, we never got this kind of experience in malaysia so this safari park has two parts uh, which is the normal safari zoo where you can interact with different animals like leopard tiger um giraffe and like you're you're gonna be in a bus it's not like you're Ha you're having a solo moment with the giraffe and the second part is the giraffe encounter where you need to top up like uh, a little bit more I'll, I'll state the price list here okay so the first part that goes around the general zoo is around half an hour and then the giraffe encounter is around half an hour to total time spent in the zoo is around like one hour but here is the thing if you're coming from bangkok please uh don't do the same mistake as me because i thought that the safari park is the one in Bangkok which is like half an hour away because there are two safari parks they have the same name <laughs> the safari park uh, the one in Bangkok is the wrong one I only find out on a night before my appointment because apparently this giraffe uh, encounter safari park is actually three hours away from the Bangkok entire brewery is like three hours drive so last minute I gotta find a driver to drive me from Bangkok to Canterbury three hours and then come back another three hours bruh like the so total six hours so if you want the drivers uh, contact just let me know I'll, I'll put it in the description box because sis there are a lot of hassle just to go to meet the giraffe so I gotta drive like three hours there and you gotta make payment online uh, on the Facebook page I transferred through wise transfer because they they need to get the full payment before they book the, the appointment for you so yeah so just keep watching the video and enjoy So I got this private driver. He even got a Wi-Fi portal for us to use. Oh my god. And he's so nice. I think one day he charged us around uh, 3,000 baht for a day trip to Katanaburi. So which is okay lah, not bad. For three, uh, six hours drive back and forth. I like how it's, we're in the zoo. Like we're the animals. We're in a bus and they're looking at us. So this bus tour is quite fun because they open up the windows for you to interact with harmless animals like the zebra, giraffe or camel that they won't eat you. They go by sections like in this um, zebra section, there'll be a tiger section. So when you go into the tiger section, they'll definitely stop you. Like they'll ask you to, to close the window because they're gonna eat you. She have a baby already. She's a mom. Look at the lion. Look at this dog. Oh, hey. Good morning. I swear to God, the giraffes and the zebras are not afraid of humans. They won't be shy away because when they see food, they'll put their necks in to the car. Oh my god, look. Look at the tourists, they're like so scared. I'm not even scared because they're so cute. Look at their mouth, they look so ugly. Yay, so this is the truck that's supposed to bring us to the giraffe encounter. So we are going to the giraffe park. It's very dusty, I can't talk. What are you? A giraffe or a dog? A giraffe.
This giraffe encounter is so funny because it's only me and my boyfriend in the truck. The giraffe were like focusing you entirely. It's so weird because the staff were just throwing a lot of food towards uh, towards my my direction because they want the giraffe to eat around here so I can take a nice photo. So I'm just like standing there and then the giraffe are like eat here, eat here, eat there. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. I mean, it's, it's quite a fun experience, but I've never thought I'm this short. Like, they're so tall. So overall, I do enjoy this uh, giraffe encounter. I got a really nice photos on Instagram, you can check. But the most incredible thing is, I get to be so close with the giraffe. I've never been so close to a giraffe before. So, yeah. So after the safari park, you can also ask your private a driver to drive you around to eat before you return to Bangkok because let me tell you the driver knows good food uh, for the locals and you just tell them like you want to get something to eat and this driver he just brought me over to this very cool place it's like it's by the lake and it looks very like Bali vibes and the food is so cheap it is economic rice it's, it's less than 200 baht it's uh, like 20 ringgit settled for two people it's so nice, the food is so nice that you just keep watching. Oh, Look, and even this drink is wrapped in a bamboo wrap. Very cute. And look at the view. Yeah, this is what I'm looking at. The river or lake or whatever. It looks very fancy, right? but it's quite cheap. How much is it? 195. 195? For all these for 20 ringgit only. This is seafood tom yum prawn and a heart shaped fried rice, prawn fried rice of all. It's actually just like economy rice, like mixed rice that you can get, like nasi kanda. But it's so fancy, this is the most fanciest konomi rice I've ever seen. <laughs> Okay, that's all for you guys. I hope uh, all the animal lovers, especially giraffe lovers, you can make uh, a trip there because it's really different. I've never seen any other places that do giraffe encounters like this. And yeah, hope you enjoy the videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.